Hello again, friends. North here with another Bakugan op opening. And today we're going to be looking at the core Bakugan Pyrus Dragonoid. Now, since it's not an Ultra, uh, we only get the character card in here in the package and the Bakugan and his two Bakugores. It looks like a fiery fist and just a regular fist. Uh, in the background, we get uh, just the standard core Bakugan image. Some advertisements for more in the back, the character card, and the back of cores. So we're just gonna get right on into this one. Just gonna peel this back in off. And get down into it. Now, you've probably noticed uh, with the new release, oh, there's this character card, with the new release of these Bakugan Battle Planet Bakugan, is that the detail is just way better than it was in the original Bakugan series, especially even just on the Bakugan uh, balls themselves. Get this out of here, set that down. Okay, and then we'll get his character card out. And it's actually got a little bit of damage here on the top and at the bottom. I'm uh, not really sure how that happened uh, with the packaging, but it's there. So, Pyrus Dragonoid, yeah, Fiery Fist and a regular fist. A B power of 200 and a damage rating of 5, which is really high from the core Bakugan that I've seen so far. And we'll go ahead and get the cores out of here. So, for the regular fist, we have a 150 B power boost and a an additional two damage, which would put uh, the Dragonoid at 350 B with seven damage, which is just a ton of damage for a, re a base Bakugan to get that you could get out on your first turn. And the Fiery Fist is another 150 B bonus, but this time it's a plus four damage, which could put you at uh, 350 B with nine damage out. And then, of course, we have the Bakugan Ball itself. I'm going to try to be careful with it, because we've been seeing a lot of uh, defects uh, in the head area with the horn uh, when, it's try when you try to close it. Try to get it out of there. Yeah, so the thing that I'm loving about these Bakugan Battle Planet Bakugan is the, just the detail. The wings look amazing. There's detail on the tail here. There's his arrow right there. Uh, he's got uh, the core in his chest, which in the original Bakugan, uh, Drago didn't have until he had merged with the perfect core, so we'll have to see if this was a design choice or if they're going to do something with that in the new animated series. Uh, we'll try and get go ahead and get this one closed up. So I think his arms fold in, and the wings fold down on top. Head goes down, and then the tail goes in. And it looks like we do have a little bit of the horn sticking up, but it's not, it doesn't look like it's going to be an issue, and it's not significantly more uh, than the old Delta Dragonoids were doing uh, in the B1 series. So we'll go ahead and see if I can get this one to roll out on the cores. See if that horn is actually a big problem. Up. No, not a problem at all. Open on, opens on up, just fine. Just like a lot, most of the other core Bakugan that I've seen, there's no manual parts, so it just opens up all the way on its own. And I actually, I want to put him next to the old uh, B1 Drago, so we'll go, go ahead and see the size comparison here. They've just gotten so much bigger with the Bakugan Battle Planet uh, Bakugan. Let's go ahead and get these two closed up, and you can see how much bigger the balls are. Because it's not exactly fair with the Bakugan Battle Planet Drago, the way he opens up. So much bigger. You can't really tell that he is actually that much bigger. Yeah, so here's the new Bakugan Battle Planet Drago and the B1 Pyros Dragonoid. And it's a good, it's almost another Dragonoid taller. 
in the ball form. So I think I'm going to go ahead and call it there because uh, there's not a whole bunch more over to go with uh, with the core back again. So I think that's it. Uh, remember to go ahead and subscribe and follow my links down below for more Bakugan Battle Planet, and I'll see you all here next time.